Hi guys, Mike here with Sentry Security Systems Incorporated. In this week's video, we're going to take our first look at the Milestone product line. What I have installed here on our test PC is the Milestone X-Protect Essentials. It's free for up to eight cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and open the management application. And I'm going to go under Advanced Configuration, Hardware Devices, and I'm going to right click on that and go Add New Hardware Device. Once we're in here, we have two options. We can scan for the hardware or we can manually specify by IP address. Scanning for the hardware works with most cameras. Not all though. Um, if your camera doesn't come up when you scan for it to try and add the camera automatically, you'll need sort of a third party utility for the camera. Because these are existing cameras that we have here on our test machine, I already know what the IP address is, so I'm just going to go ahead and manually specify the hardware to add. This is my preferred way of doing it because it gives us a little bit more control. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the IP address. The username and the password. Under driver, I'm going to change it from auto detect. Find milestones auto detect doesn't always get the best driver. So I like to manually select it and I'm going to go ahead and select my on VIF compatible device. Once I've done that, I'll click next and the software will begin connecting to the camera. Once it's done, the status will change to connected. Next, we're going to click next here on the bottom and it's going to add the camera for us. Once that's done, we'll click OK. And up at the top, we're going to save our changes. Now that we've got the camera added, we're going to take a look at the camera and storage information. And I'm going to click on camera one. This will give us the live view of the camera. We have a few different options here. We can open up our properties. We can look at our video formats. We can change how we're recording, retention time, and so on. We're going to cover all of those things in future videos. For this video today, we're just basically looking at how to add that camera, get it up and running. If you have any questions about the Milestone platform, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.